The growth of credit unionism among the members of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union has not escaped the attention of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the ECCB. According to the ECCB governor, Timothy Antoine, the credit union movement can be a force for good. But Antoine says with increased growth comes increased responsibility. The Credit Bureau, for example, is an initiative where we want both banks and credit unions to have an opportunity to be part of the Credit Bureau. And I want to be very clear, the Credit Bureau is intended to promote responsible borrowing and responsible lending. It goes two, two ways. For the banks and credit unions, they get to get information on the creditors, uh, and, uh, on, 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 on customers, borrowers, and they're in a better position to assess and price the risk. But for the borrower as well, they get better terms when you are known and they can better price your risk. In the absence of those terms, you might be paying a higher interest rate than you ought to be paid, or you may not be getting credit at all because you have no track record on which they can rely. So the Credit Bureau actually works both for the banks and credit unions and for the customers. The ECCB has established dialogue with the credit union movement in order to enhance the services it provides to them. We are piloting right now in the ECCU with at least one credit union direct cash service. Once that pilot is finished, our intention is then to roll that out to other credit unions. In addition to that, credit unions are going to be part of the digital currency pilot. And you would have seen two credit unions have already come on board, the St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union and the Monrepo Credit Union. And we expect others would probably want to join. So the ECCB stance is to encourage the credit unions and to support them. The challenges such as de-risking and combating financial terrorism that currently confront banks will in time impose themselves on the credit unions. The ECCB pledges to work closely with credit unions to prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead. It's very important that we are proactive in supporting the credit unions and I am, we have opened up a very good dialogue with them that will grow and I think coming out of that dialogue there have been more initiatives to support credit unions and also we will eventually determine what is the optimal regulatory environment. The credit union movement has become a force for good on the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union's financial services landscape. The expectation is that the movement will continue to grow. But there's a caveat. With that growth comes increased challenges and demands that the movement must be prepared for if it is to continue to flourish. Stanley Lucian for the HTS News Force.